Mm. Yes. Uh, today I want to cover the topic the Delhi Sultanate. Actually, for competitive exams, only yielded mist about yielded mist, Tughlaq, Khilji, these three uh, and Kutubuddi uh, Naimakka. These are the prominent uh, rulers. And one uh, one objective question they used to ask: Who is the uh, woman emperor in uh, Delhi Sultanate, Rajya Sultana? These uh, these are the important uh, and this. Uh, only very less uh, contribution uh, of uh, architecture and uh, here another thing Kilji's uh, uh, Kilji uh, this uh, administrative system is important in this is next to uh, this uh, change of uh, Tughlaq uh, change of capital and uh, this uh, uh, Tughlaq Tughlaq rule is also uh, for uh, objective it is important is yes, uh, so i want to cover this complete topic in one video is yes, only main points i want to discuss in this video is yes, this the delhi sultanate the this uh, establishment of delhi sultanate began with the invasion of muhammad ghori uh, actually he had brought a large number of slaves and appointed as officers here, uh, actually, this Gori, uh, until yes, uh, till the uh, end of this uh, 12th century, uh, Prithviraj Chauhan, Prithviraj Chauhan, uh, yes, uh, actually, we, another name of Prithviraj Chauhan is Rai Pitora. Uh, he is uh, actually uh, king of uh, Chahanmana, uh, Chahanmana dynasty. Uh, king, his kingdom is uh, Rajputana. Actually, he ruled Prithviraj Chauhan ruled Rajasthan, Haryana, Delhi, and um, his capital is uh, Azmi. Actually, uh, we yes, uh, this medieval period uh, we discussed this uh, uh, dynasties also. Yes, uh, this uh, this uh, Ajay Mere, Ajay Miru, uh, now we call Ajmi. Yes, uh, here Pudiras uh, about uh, this uh, Pudiras Chauhan Chand Barai. Chand Barai wrote Pudiras Raso. Yes, uh, we come to this. This uh, Pudiras, uh, this uh, Muhammad Ghori invaded, uh, and uh, there is between Pudiras and Muhammad Ghori there is two uh, two wars. Therite Wars. The first Therite War held in 1191. Uh, at that time, this Prithviraj, actually great warrior, Prithviraj Chauhan, uh, ferocious and great warrior, is Prithviraj Chauhan defeated Gori. By seeing his uh, uh, ferociousness, Gori uh, uh, ran back and uh, again one, within one year, he strengthened his army and according to this uh, strength of Prithviraj Chauhan, he designed his army, army, army uh, sorry, war plan and he again uh, invaded in 1192, that is Second Tharai War. In Second Tharai War, Prithviraj Chauhan was defeated by uh, Muhammad Ghori. Yes, sir, you know, while Muhammad Ghori come, to, uh, come he, bring, uh, he, uh, he bought many slaves and he appointed these slaves as, they, yeah, as his officers. After death of uh, Ghori, that is uh, 1206, uh, uh, scrambled, scrambled for the supremacy among uh, his uh, three generals. What are the three generals? Who are the three generals? Kutubuddin Aibak, that is actually Kutubuddin Aibak is the commander in chief of uh, Muhammad Ghori, and Tazuddin, uh, Tazuddin uh, actually, this Tazuddin is the rule, uh, ruler of uh, Karman, and uh, another, uh, uh, another uh, sorry, another competitor for these two is. Uh, was uh, the uh, Nasir de Kutub Shah. These three are 
Sarkar uh, fought for supremacy. And, uh, yes, so actually here this uh, this is the this establishment of this slavery dynasty. This because all these are uh, comes from slaves. So this uh, dynasty is called slavery dynasty. Slave, slave sorry, slave dynasty called slave dynasty. This slave dynasty contain uh, five five dynasties ruled uh, ruled here. First is Ilbari dynasty, Kilji dynasty, Tuklat dynasty, Sayyid dynasty, and Lodi dynasty. Come to the uh, this uh, Ilbari dynasty. Kutubuddin Naibak is started this uh, dynasty, and uh, uh, just uh, they ruled they ruled eighty two years. Eighty two years. Yes, uh, Kutubuddin Naibak. Later, after Kutubuddin Naibak, Iltutmish ruled this uh, rule, and after Iltutmish, his uh, daughter Rajya Begum ruled. Rajya Sultana is uh, Rajya Begum ruled. Uh, yes, uh, these uh, let, uh, after this, um, um, uh, Balban Balban ruled the uh, Ilbari dynasty. Lost, lost. Um, emperor of uh, this uh, last sultan of this uh, Ilbari dynasty is Kai uh, Kai Pabab. Yes, next to uh, Kinji dynasty. Here, <coughs> Kinji dynasty, Jalaluddin Kinji is the founder of Kinji dynasty. Jalaluddin Kinji is the founder of uh, Kinji dynasty. As uh, after Jalaluddin uh, Khilji, Auluddin uh, Khilji, uh, Shaibaduddin uh, Umar, uh, Mubarak Khilji are the rulers of uh, Khilji dynasty. Next, uh, after Khilji dynasty, this uh, Dildi Sultanate uh, uh, came under uh, rule of Tughlaq dynasty. In the Tughlaq dynasty, uh, Abu Bakr is uh, Tughlaq Shah. Tughlaq Shah founded founded Tughlaq dynasty. After Tughlaq Shah, Abu Bakr, Muhammad Shah, Alauddin uh, Sikandar Shah, Nasiruddin Muhammad. Uh, the, these are the uh, prominent personalities. Next to this, uh, after this, Sayyid Sayyid dynasty. This Sayyid dynasty is uh, founded by uh, Kinj Khan. Uh, this, uh, no prominent personalities, so we can, uh, that much of uh, prominent personalities not uh, available in this dynasty. Next one, the last dynasty in the Delhi Sultanate slave, slave dynasties, Lodis. These Lodis, uh, Lodi dynasty is, uh, is uh, founded by Behalon Lodi. Uh, yes, sir. In this last, last Delhi Sultanate, the ruled Emperor the Sultan is Ibrahim Lodi. Ibrahim Lodi is the last Sultan of uh, Delhi Sultanate. Yes, sir. This is the basic information about the uh, Delhi Sultanate. While well, come to this, yes, sir. Yes, sir. how? What is the reasons for success of sultans of uh, Delhi Sultanate? Actually, first reason that is common, common reason, local kings lack unity and organizations are divided by, uh, divided by um, uh, rivalries. No central government, no central government, small, 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 small kingdoms. Because of small kingdoms and uh, scattered completely the land, uh, like a small district, uh, one kingdom, a small district of uh, this um, our in our India, present India, is one, uh, one kingdom in the ancient time. So it become very easy and one to one, the uh, one another, they quarrel and they always they engage with that uh, this. Uh, rivalry wars so it, it become a very easy to occupy uh, occupy capture delhi next to uh, 
uh, <coughs> here compared to uh, compared to indian uh, rulers Turk, uh, turkish rulers are better organized so they they this is uh, they took the advantage of uh, this lack of uh, mutual cooperation uh, among the rajputs Uh, they they established this Delhi Sultanate. Has come to the administration as per the law, of, as per the uh, law stated in the Quran, uh, they uh, ruled. This uh, Quranic law, law was the supreme law of the empire. The Caliph Khalifa was the supreme uh, leader among to the Islamic theory. and all the all the muslim rulers in the world were to be uh, to be his uh, subordinates to be his subordinates subordinates next uh, this uh, here in the administration sultan 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 is the head of the sultanate the yes sir the head of the administration of the sultanate was king or the sultan himself only there were no principles of uh, hereditary successors succession the sultan had the power to nominate the uh, heirs of his choice and they would be recognized by all other nobles all the muslims were allowed uh, in the sultan's office actually Uh, in the beginning this kutubuddin uh, naibak hello hello only uh, this uh, first two uh, employees of uh, muslim uh, officials only he allowed later first initially he started to allow only muslims to the fort later he uh, again he changed his uh, rule only officials later what this uh, delhi sultanates do all enter into the um, uh, sultan's office uh, the powers only given to royal family members royal family members yes sir following the islamic uh, theory the sultans of the delhi were they considered considered to be the messengers of god messengers of god that is allah next uh, they uh, according to quran allah is uh, god so he, this uh, delhi sultan uh, the delhi is uh, sultans of delhi is the representatives of messengers of allah is then according to quran quranic law theory yes so after uh, sultan this uh, next to um wazir wazir is the, wazir is nothing but the prime minister he is very powerful powerful uh, man in the administration this uh, uh, this prime minister having the responsibilities uh, the, the to say yes uh, uh, regulate rules and regulations rules and regulations laid down uh, by this uh, wazir and also Uh, exercise exercise the sultan's power and uh, he appointed he appointed all the important officers of the state under the name of sultan under the name of sultan in the absence of that sultan that is the wazir wazir uh, take care of everything so he is uh, he is nothing but sultan sometimes the dummy dummy sultans um uh, sit in the uh, throne but wazir rule complete uh, administration uh, and uh, rules and regulations are implemented by wazirs here next the uh, he he advised he advised the sultan in the matters of administration and always kept him uh, un uh, updated updated about the Uh, sen uh, sentiments sentiments and uh, needs of it, the people next to uh, wazir um, handled all the financial matters he was also the superintendent of the civil servants and 
commanded the military establishment while come to the next uh, minister divani arij this he is the army 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 he look after army actually his responsibility is his was control the military and military establishment and recruit recruited the troops for the army so uh, yes these two are the responsibilities yes sir, for complete army sultan was the uh, commander in chief of chief commander in chief of the army next to diwan e rasalat this uh, diwan e rasalat uh, he is nothing but the minister of finance uh, sorry foreign affairs minister of foreign affairs is what are the responsibilities of this uh, diwan e rasalat foreign affairs and handle the diplomatic uh, diplomatic uh, uh, correspondences and uh, ambassadors sent the ambassadors uh, next to the envoys they receiving from the other rulers these are all the responsibilities of the wali risala next to satar who is uh, satar uh, he is the minister of the department of religion yes sir he he uh, yes sir he under his supervision endowment and charity uh, and also uh, he enforce the islamic rules and regulations and ensure that all the muslims strictly follow these rules and regulations rules and regulations next to here i want to discuss uh, some uh, yes next actually this uh, uh, delhi sultanate yet rulers of the delhi sultanate are often viewed uh, as iko iconoclastic uh, pillagers uh, pillagers best known for their indiscriminate indiscriminate destruction of hindu buddhist and jain temples and enacting prohibitions of uh, anthropomorphic representations in art greatest contribution to indian fine arts however was the introduction of islamic architectural features these in this uh, this, uh, this architectural features including true do domes and uh, arches and the integration integration of uh, indian and uh, islamic style of architecture Yes, sir. Uh, built uh, built the first uh, this uh, actually the first Sultan of Delhi, Qutub Minar, is the for tallest uh, minaret in India. This uh, actually this uh, walls of which are uh, covered with the Indian florid mafkis uh, and uh, various form of Qurans. Why, uh, sir? Sorry. and uh, also written verses of quran on um, uh, on the walls of qutub minar when we come to this uh, qutub minar qutubuddin uh, aibak qutubuddin aibak uh, uh, actually uh, this uh, first sultan of delhi sultanate started to construction of qutubuddin uh, qutub minar in 1192 actually whenever he started to construct this qutub uh, minar in delhi he is uh, governor of delhi he is he was governor of delhi he complete this uh, actually this qutub uh, minar was completed after his death by his successor il tutmish il tutmish <laughs> actually this qutub minar was made of uh, fluoridated uh, red sandstone and marble yes uh, sir this uh, uh, standing at the height of uh, that is uh, 238 feet this uh, several uh, sarcophagus uh, flanked and uh, cylindrical uh, steps and uh, separated by the balconies separated by makwaras uh, corbels this is makwaran corbels are the islamic and persian architecture tradition 
and yeah, you, you see this Qutub Minar is uh, uh, actually located in uh, Mehroli Archaeological Park. Mehroli Archaeological Park. Next to uh, prominent uh, architecture piece is uh, the Alai Darwaja. This is uh, this uh, is Alai Darwaja is the uh, best example example for Indo Islamic architecture. This actually this is, this was the main gateway on the southern side of the Kawat uh, uh, Islam Mosque in the Qutub complex. Is uh, it uh, this uh, alay that was uh, was built in 1311. Uh, actually, this is uh, uh, domes, uh, surviving two domes, uh, two drone, uh, domes in India. Is uh, later uh, there is a little arch architecture remaining from the Sayyid and Dodi's period. But a few fine examples survive in the Lodi uh, garden in the Delhi, uh, including the tombs of Muhammad Shah, uh, this uh, last, last Sultanate of uh, Sayyid dynasty built in 1414. Next to uh, this, uh, actually, I want to discuss a few uh, uh, things about, uh, about this uh, Delhi Sultanate. Development and Indo-Persian style of uh, painting uh, actually that uh, draw heavily from schools in uh, Iran and uh, Jain paintings. Yes, uh, in this uh, very few notable works are available uh, in this uh, period that is uh, actually Prithviraj Raso, uh, one, one of that. Next to uh, Shanama, Shanama is the Book of Kings. Uh, under uh, this uh, Shahnama is written under Lodi's rule. Uh, this uh, this was uh, written by Amir Kushro. Amir Kushro. And also uh, Kamish. Kamish uh, is also written. Uh, Kamish of uh, is the Kamish of the Amir Kushro. This uh, two ma most of these, these two are uh, uh, sorry. Uh, two uh, manuscripts from Mandu, a uh, Kalpa, Kalpa, su Kalpa Sutra, and uh, Kalaka, Kalaka Kar uh, Karyata uh, of the about this uh, painted of uh, Junapur in 1465. Actually, this uh, five dynasties rule this uh, Delhi Sultanate uh, from actually this. Uh, Delhi Sultanate from uh, this uh, 12, 12, uh, 12, 1206 to 1526. Nearly uh, 325 uh, 20, uh, years, they, they, uh, these uh, Delhi Sultanate, five dynasties ruled Delhi. Here, why? Why the decline? This, uh, now we see the causes of decline of Delhi Sultan. Yes, so your main drawback of this uh, uh, di this uh, sultans is no definite law of succession. Yes, sir, uh, came with the help of sword and uh, army. This uh, whomever want to become the sultan, though re those uh, revolute and sit in the uh, this uh, chain. This uh, military strength was the main factor in the succession to the throne, uh, which later gave birth to the political instability. Nobles were, nobles were very powerful and act as the king makers who control the weak sultans. Already I said uh, wazir. Wazirs play a prominent role in uh, a, uh, this uh, Delhi Sultanate. Yes, Qatar Dari, uh, Jamin Dari, uh, Jagir Dari systems led to the uh, disintegration, disintegration of uh, Delhi Sultanate. Next to invasions, invasions of uh, Taimur, Taimur's uh, Babar, 
Babar Inversions and uh, yes, so actually this Babar Inversions create havoc in the uh, this uh, dynasty. Next to oh, in this uh, uh, Delhi Sultanate, two personalities we have to discuss. One is Kil uh, Kilji, Alauddin Kilji. Another one is Muhammad bin Tughlaq. Yes, actually Alauddin Kilji's administrative system is followed by uh, other uh, uh, next to uh, uh, their successors Mughal empires, uh, especially Akbar. Akbar uh, followed Kilji's administrative system. Yes, so this uh, Kilji uh, implement um, changes made many changes in administration. Uh, this uh, what are the changes he made? Um, first we see uh, this uh, actually uh, he uh, controls the power power in his uh, hands completely power in his hands and to support a large military and. Uh, this is the first measure he has taken. He has uh, taken. Next to, uh, next to, um, he knows how he come to the throne. He knows that's why complete military power he brought in his uh, under his uh, hands because he he uh, he his military commanders uh, Jafar Khan, Willa Khan, Malik uh, Kafur. These three, these three are very, very strong. Whenever Kilji also occupied the throne in that way, way only, they might be revolt and they might uh, snatch his uh, throne. He uh, suspected that's a complete army uh, brought in under his control. Next to revenue reforms. In revenue reforms, uh, cultivators, cultivators free from the demands of the land, land, uh, land owners and also officials. Officials were uh, well paid. He paid uh, for officials. Actually, um, bribe, corruption is more, more uh, at that period, in that period, during that period, corruption is common. So, to avoid the corruption, he increased the salaries of officials. And uh, uh, subjected to serve the punishment if uh, found to the taking bribes. Next to uh, account books. Account books were they audited, audited, and even small uh, these practices are noticed. Definitely severe punishment. Yes, uh, hit with the ro rocks and stones, and they kill. That type of punishments also. They give if they find any uh, this, uh, any uh, discre this practices. Yes, uh, next to uh, he imposed jizya tax on non-Muslims, non-Muslim subjects. Next to Muslim subjects were obligated to uh, contribute jakat, contribute jakat. Yes, sir. Uh, next to Allahuddin. Uh, demanded four by five, four by five uh, share, share of the uh, spoils of war from his so soldiers. Instead of the traditional one fifth uh, pawns, uh, pawns, he has taken one by five, four, sorry, four by five. Next to market reform, reforms. Along with these reforms, we have to discuss market reforms. He implemented uh, price control measures. First, first person who implemented price control measures in India is Alaguddin Kilji. Uh, he appointed market supervisors and uh, spies and received independent uh, reports from them. To prevent, to prevent a black market, prohibit, he prohibited uh, peasants and traders from uh, storing from storing the grains and uh, established government government run gran, uh, gran, uh, granaries. He established to control the black market. And uh, he destroyed several Hindu temples, Allah uh, temples uh, next to 
uh, and also basically he, this uh, Allahuddin Kilji is uh, Sunni Muslim Orthodox uh, Orthodox Ulema Ulma, Ulama next uh, prominent personality is um, uh, yes uh, actually here one thing I want to say sorry I, one thing I want to tell uh, forget to remember uh, forget uh, Allah Muddin imposed a prohibition of alcohol. Yes, sir. one joke is Allah Muddin is a drunkard. Always he consumes alcohol 24 hours. But he prohibited alcohol to, as, uh, as according to the Quran, Quran uh, consume alcohol is, uh, um, as a, 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 it is against the Quran. That's why he prohibited alcohol. Next to, uh, next to, we have to discuss another important personality in this dynasty, Muhammad bin Tughlaq. Actually, we know about the Muhammad bin Tughlaq. Uh, first, uh, what he did, actually Muhammad bin Tughlaq is very intelligent person. But whatever the measures he has taken uh, to improve his uh, administration, uh, those are not work, uh, worked out because of that uh, bad luck. Uh, he became this uh, this uh, Tughlaq. Name of Tughlaq is uh, um, became the synonym of uh, fools. Yes, here uh, he moved capital from Delhi to Daulat Daulatabad in 1327. Yes, sir. Actually, Dawlatabas is, uh, is located in Maharashtra. What happened? Whenever he is complete uh, along with the royal family, um, the traders, uh, uh, traders, uh, uh, artisans, uh, all move from Delhi to Dawlatabad. In, in, the, in the, the journey, many people uh, lost their lives. And also, here, what happened in the Bidar, Bidar uh, suddenly uh, this uh, disease, plague, plague outbreak, uh, outbreak, uh, so uh, due to this, uh, many people died. So, uh, at, the time, at the same time, uh, whenever he left Delhi, left uh, this Delhi, he is captured by his enemies. So he lost power on Delhi. Surround, complete Delhi, Delhi surrounding areas went into, under his enemies, hands of enemies. That is the uh, blunder. Next, another uh, mistake of the, uh, the Alauddin Kilji is token currency. Yes, sir, he is instead of uh, copper, silver coins. Uh, he started token currency. Uh, yes, actually, uh, because of this uh, 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 treasury treasury uh, treasury problem, he want to save uh, money, and uh, he started. Uh, he implemented this uh, introduced uh, this uh, token currency. This token without uh, royal seal, uh, he released this token currency. People very fell into the confusion. Which is real currency? Which is fake currency? Many people started to uh, uh, market this uh, token currency because there is no royal seal. Because of these two two actions, Muhammad bin Tughlaq treated as the foolish sultan in the Delhi Sultanate. Yes, sir. these are these are the main points we have to discuss in Delhi Sultanate. Yes, sir. thank you. Thank you for watching. Uh, if uh, you have any uh, queries, uh, call. Uh, given uh, my number is given in the description box. Box. You can call on that number. Uh, share uh, if you like. Subscribe and share. Thank you. Jai Hind.